Good morning everyone. We already know the number of atoms constituting a molecule is known as its atomicity. Also, the combining power or capacity of an element is known as its valency. So let us see how to write the chemical formula correctly. Here we see a compound NaH. One atom of sodium combines with one atom of hydrogen to form NaH which is sodium hydride. So we can say the valency of sodium is 1. Now let's find the formula for sodium carbonate. Na and CO3. We write sodium's valency after carbonate. As the valency of sodium is 1, we don't need to write it. Carbonate's valency as we saw is 2. So we write it after Na. And we get Na2CO3. Now we cannot reduce it anymore and we don't need to write 1 here too. So the formula is Na2CO3. Each molecule of sodium carbonate has 2 sodium, 1 carbon and 3 oxygen atoms having a total of 6 atoms and we can say its atomicity is 6. But you may wonder why do we write NaH and not HNA? What is the difference? Well, while writing a chemical formula, the metallic element is kept first. Sodium is a metal but hydrogen is a non-metal. So, we write NaH not HNA. The compound formed by metal and non-metal has charged species called iron. It can be positively charged called cation or negatively charged called anion. Ions may consist of a single charged atom or a group of atoms that have a net charge on them. A group of atoms carrying a charge is known as a polyatomic ion. For example, sulfate ion is SO4 with two negative charges. Two minus means two units of negative charge and it also means the valency is 2. We would know the detailed explanation after learning about what is inside an atom. While writing the chemical formula, atoms or group of atoms which forms cation during reaction are written first. So, calcium sulfate would be Ca and sulfate. Calcium is a metal and it forms cation so it comes first. While sulfate is a polyatomic ion which is negatively charged and hence it's an anion. Now we interchange the valency. Valency of calcium is 2 and valency of sulfate is also 2. So after sulfate and after calcium we write 2. And if you see sulfate is a polyatomic Ion, so we write polyatomic ion inside the brackets and then write the valency. Thus we get Ca2SO4 2. Now we can easily reduce it by dividing by 2 and thus it becomes CaSO4. So remember while writing the chemical formula for compounds, write the constituent elements and their valencies and then cross over or interchange the valencies of the combining atoms. Here we have hydrogen and sulfur. Valency of hydrogen is 1, valency of sulfur is 2. Now we interchange the valencies and we get H2S. So the chemical formula is H2S and the compound is hydrogen sulfide. In case you know the charges of combining ions, then while writing the chemical formula for compounds, write the constituent elements and their charges. Then cross over or interchange the charges of the combining atoms. Here we have magnesium 
and chlorine. The charge on magnesium is 2 plus and on chlorine is 1 minus. Now we interchange the charges so we get the compound as MgCl2 and this is magnesium chloride. So to sum up what are the rules for writing a chemical formula? First the valency or charges on the ion must balance. For example MgCl2. Here an ion of magnesium has two positive charge while two ions of chlorine has a total of two negative charge as each chlorine ion has single negative charge. So in total in MgCl2 there are two positive and two negative charges. Thus the positive and negative charges balance each other and the overall structure is neutral. Next when a compound consists of a metal and a non-metal the name or symbol of the metal is written first. For example MgCl2 here magnesium is a metal. In compounds formed with polyatomic ions the ion is enclosed in bracket before writing the number to indicate the ratio. For example CaOH2. In case the number of polyatomic ion is 1 the bracket is not required. For example NaOH. Here is a list of valency of few common elements and group. For example sodium, potassium, silver and hydrogen form cation and have a valency of 1. Oxygen forms an ion and has a valency of 2. Calcium, zinc, magnesium form cation and have a valency of 2. Polyatomic ions such as sulfate and carbonate form an ion and have a valency of 2. Aluminium forms cation and has a valency of 3. Copper forms cation with valency of either 1 or 2. Iron also forms cation but with a valency of 2 or 3. So that was all about writing a chemical formula. Bye bye.